Hi everyone, this is CVGS. I'm Dempster. With me here is Kaka. Hello! And today, <laughs> today we're going to be looking at something very special and exclusive all the way from Pokemon Center. So, yeah, you can be sure this is uh, this is only exclusive in Japan. This is the trainer battle decks for both Brock and Misty. The names are Brock of Pewter City and Brock uh, and Misty of Cerulean Brock, City. Brock again, Brock and Brock. Brock, 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 Brock. <laughs> so, uh, Kaka, yeah. from what I remember, these two uh, trainer battle decks have been out uh, since January, right? Yes, yeah, so it's been out since January. Yes, and it's only it's in January around there. Huh? Yeah, correct. And it's only out in Pokemon centers, so there's nowhere, uh, no other places you can get it. And because they're only exclusive in uh, Japan, it's only in Japanese language, there will not be an English release. But that's fine, this is why we're here today to take a look at it and tell you how it's like in English. Yep, is that how it works? Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> <We're gonna> try it <laughs> out! <laughs> okay, so um, this is actually an inspiration from the Pokemon uh, Trainer Battle Trainer Battle decks uh, way back in the first and second editions where the stadium expansion was released, I think 20 years back or so. Mm. Uh, we broke at Misty. Was it 20 years? Almost, I think. Oh, I feel Almost. Old. Yeah, we are. Oh. We're still playing cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So uh, this is like sort of like a remake uh, because the last Go Pikachu and Eevee was out at the time. So this is the perfect time to revitalize it with the Sun and Moon um, mechanics and, uh, and and stuff. They are in the new rotation of the Sun and Moon rotation. Yes, so you can use it. Can use it. You yeah. can use it. <coughs> right. So uh, let's let's take a look at both the sets simultaneously. Oh, uh, okay. Starting with opening this thing. Why you think Misty? <laughs> <laughs> So the very first thing we take a look is the storage case. Now the storage case itself is a is a collector's Ooh. item. It's very nice, well drawn by. I don't think this is drawn by Sugimori Ken Sensei. But, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But it's still very nice nonetheless. And at the sides we have the Cascade Batch and the Boulder Batch. At the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we got both the badges and the the long the long sides are all the Pokemon types that have been out so far. So we've got Grass, Fire, Water, Lightning, Psychic, Colorless, uh, Fighting, Dark, Metal, Fairy, and Dragon. A total of 11 types. They're catching up to the, the, the video games already and that's cool. Very nice. Yeah. A different, it's a very different you know, deck boxing. Yeah, not only, not, okay. not only it's a, it's a great thing to store your card, your decks, it's also great for storing your cards, your spare cards and everything. Whatever you want to put in there, it's, it's available. The texture is very different though. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's smooth. smooth. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to the touch, but it has it has a good grip for you to be able to hold it properly. All right, let's open it up because this is not just all that there is to it. There's, There's even more. more. So opening up, the first thing we see here. Wow! 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 Not Take only a look. do we wow. have the sleeves and the case, the deck case, we also have a pre-made deck for each of these gym leaders. Mine is on next. Mm. Yeah, and we've got Stami on this side because Stami is Misty's main Pokemon. For so the, the first case, generation. Yeah. So the case looks like this. Uh, it contains the damage counters, the GX tokens, and the coin as well. The coin is in the same. Uh, it's made in the same manner as the gym leaders. So their faces will be there. You can flip it. Face and their gym bags. Yes. That's quite best. Right. Jump patch. <laughs> Should we open this and take a look at what's inside? Let's yeah, go. Let's, 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 let's take a look. Let's do it. Okay. First of all, the deck case has a Valkyrie opening. Which is very good already because it prevents so many things from being dropping out. So this is a great choice. And inside we have two card dividers. One with one with the gym leader and the other for the badge. Oh, mine is same. Right. One is rock and one with his badge. Yeah, so you've got two different sections. Oh this is this is so nice to touch as well. It's it's stiff. It's made with the same material as the deck case. Mm. Whew. Okay. I, think, I think this is the first time I see there's two dividers rather than one. Yeah, I agree. Because most decks, most like, deck cases just give one. one. Yeah, yeah, but this one gives you two. two. So that's that's amazing. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, the next one we have are the sleeves. Now this comes, this has a total of 60. Enough, 60? Yes, 60 sleeve uh, pack, which comes, which is enough for what, just one deck. One deck. Yeah. And it's also very well drawn, very very nicely designed as well. Very consistent. Yeah, it, 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 correct. It's uh, <coughs> it goes well with the theme, like the theme of the mm, whole set. Yes. So that's the, the deck case. Um, the decks. Right, the decks. We will get to it in a bit. Don't worry about that. We get to it very shortly. And I think there's more underneath. Oh. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. It comes with one ex one whole pack of supply stuff. Ooh. 
the Brox coin. If you guys can see it, I don't know whether you guys can see yeah. it very carefully. The, the coin is a little smaller compared to a lot of other yeah. decks, but it's still very wonderfully right. made. Uh, it, it definitely, it definitely has that shine. That's all I can say. <laughs> and this, uh, that is the playmat. Playmat. Oh, this yes. is the playmat. It comes with a paper playmat for you, for you to to use, and it's huge. I'm not gonna lie. This is. Oh, it's freaking. Oh, oh, it's for both sides. Both sides. It's not one side. But so one back when playmat is able to cater for two players. That is great. Oh. With and it's onyx. Really so nice. Yeah, it comes. It's very thematic as well. Oh, so oh. you can both ways. Okay. One with his Pokemon right at the bottom, and one is with just Brock right at the side. Yeah, the same goes for the same goes. For <laughs> right, <so laughs> big. I don't, the same goes for uh, for Misty side. So I've got Misty on one end and uh, her Pokemon on the other, which is Psyduck and Starmie. This is amazing because I don't see a lot of card games with a playmat cases for more than one player. Uh, and at the back, the back also tells you. Um, the strategies, the strategies of how to use this deck. Yeah, I hold it for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too big. Yeah, it's way too big. So it tells you about the strategies and what you can do with this deck to ensure your victory, as well as the history of the gym leader set, which is amazing because this game has gone for very, very, very long, and old-time players will know what these cards are. I, I have a few of them, and it's really nice. I love them. So this is the gym leader expansion, and this is the aforementioned battle, uh, the very first um, battle. <laughs> What is that? Uh, trainer battle deck. Trainer battle deck. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. They even put the dates down here. Yeah, exactly. Like, really 1998. Nice. Both of them, 1998. Yes. One is on April and one is on October. October. Yeah. So it's gym, very long. It's how how long ago? This is 20 years ago. 20 years. Ooh. 11th to be exactly. Yeah, 20, 21 years ago. Yeah, 21, 21, years, 21 years ago. Years. Wow. 21. This this has this you can see this game has been going on for very very long and it's still very strong today. Okay. So what else do we have? So for fans, keep a lookout. And next we have the paper, uh, the paper cutouts for the damage counters, the poison and burn markers, as well as the GX tokens. Uh, yeah. And there's poison, yeah. the GX markers, life point of 50, mm. tens, and hundreds. 10, 50, 100 damage. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah, which is uh, which is very common thing now because most mm. of the most of the HPs go beyond hundred. Yes. So this is this is very handy for you if you are just starting out with this set, uh, and, uh, until you get something that can replace your the damage counters. But this works very well as well. And it's so not very it, soft. It's kind of good, yeah, it's good kind quality. Of, it's kind of good yeah. quality. And if you are afraid of accidentally flipping over and not seeing it, don't worry. On the other side, you can see the damage counters just number there as well. So both sides work pretty well. The same, yeah, actually. Pretty the same. <laughs> yeah. Pretty the same. Yeah. Okay. So with that out of the way, shall we take a look at the decks and see what's in store for us? All right. All right. Let's do this. Let's, do let's go. All right. We've opened the decks and we've looked through them, and I we feel that these are some of the cards that uh we we would what like to go through because they are considered the main cards of this deck, right? Yes. Yeah. The main most focus. of the correct. Most of the other cards are mm. also included in the I think the regular Sun and Moon boosters. Yes. So you can find them in there. Sun and Moon boosters will definitely have them, but mm. just keep a lookout. Because yep. they might be separated from two different series yes. rather than all chucked into one here. Yeah, correct. So we're just gonna go through these four falls up there, two for each of the trainer decks. Um, but why are the why are the stadium cards here? Is because <laughs> even though they've been out for a while, we realized that the art for the for the gyms are very reminiscent of the original games. I mean just looking at the tiles in the Serena City gym, right? Yeah, okay. One of the trainers is gonna be here, and one's gonna be here. <laughs> Misty's gonna be all the way at the back. Yeah, the same, the same as for Brock, <laughs> right here. Yeah, so we just point, we want just, we just like to point it out because we kind of just find it kind of fun fact. Yes, yeah, fun, fun fact. fact. <laughs> all right, so let's go through the main cards. Uh, we'll go, we'll go, we we'll start with Brock side because this since he's the first gym leader. Yep. So uh, we're gonna start with Kaka. I will start with the his used to be. He, Still current favorite Pokemon, which is Onyx GX. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's a fighting Pokemon with 200 HP. Wow. Which normally take a normal base Pokemon of two turn hits. Mm. Correct. So next, his first attack move is mm. by one fighting energy, Bind. Oh, Bind. Okay. Yeah. 30 damage. Flip a coin. If it's hit, your opponent active Pokemon now is. Paralyzed. Oh, okay, that's a very typical bind attack. Lah. Yes, the typical, mm. but it's still with 30 damage, so the attack still so so for a GX. It's more for, it's more for like a, 
a status uh, ailment lah. Yeah. Because your 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 opponent completely misses a turn if they don't have a switch or something like that. Yeah, they have to stall it. Yes. <coughs> so next is heavy impact. <laughs> One fighting and four colorless wow. energy. What does it do? Oh, so total of five energy you must put in it. So just only deal 150 damage. Oh no effect. <laughs> no effect. Just oh, but that is still very strong. Eh. So oh, still a two two hits KO Pokemon. Mm. But for current archetype, which is have Zoro R, no weakness to fighting, so Onyx can instant kill them. Yes. That's the strong. But Correct. you have to think of a way to actually build it up to Five energy. Hmm. Other than or you mm. just spam double colorless. <laughs> and <laughs> that's one way, I guess. <laughs> two, two double colorless and one fighting energy. Yep. All right. Oh. So what's his GS attack? Okay. Oh, his GS attack is Avalanche Rock. Oh, sounds right. crazy. Deal two hundred damage. During your opponent next turn, this Pokemon takes hundred less damage from attacks. Oh my goodness, that is very, that is very, very, very Onyx here. Yes, it is. Unexpected. <laughs> it's a one hit to almost every single Pokemon. Yes, almost. most of them. Most uh, of them is one hit. All stage one and two evolution Pokemon will get knocked out by this straight yes. away. Uh, GX might have a bit of surviving chance depending on how much HP he has. Yes, but and 200 is straight 200 up is overkill. Straight up. Painful as yeah. well. But do take note that you can only use one GX attack per game, which yes. is like a Mega Evolution or ZX in the <coughs> video games. So you have to be very careful of when you use it. Uh, you have to be confident that you can either end the game that turn or you make sure that your opponent can't do anything during that next turn. Yep. They can still survive. Yes. So that's one way to play it. Alright. Uh, one thing about Onyx mm. is his weakness to grass is times two, mm. uh, which is typically what's happening in all the TCG card games, all of them have a weakness. Yep. And of course they have a resi resistant, but Onyx have resistant to none. Oh, <laughs> and if three costs is four. Which three costs, of course, four. <laughs> so it's basically a four. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, uh, you switch. <laughs> only can you switch. So only you switch. Uh, or just wait for you to die. <laughs> oh, escape rope. Yep. And one more thing to note is that GX Pokemon, uh, if they are knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards instead, which is very akin to the original EX Pokemon. So yep. be careful uh, if you want to if you want to play uh, Onyx GX as your main Pokemon. Yeah, you have to bear in mind that. Yep. <coughs> Alright, so what's the next card? The right, trainer next card. card is the trainer card. Brock's training! Okay, with Ooh. him and all next together. <laughs> right. right. Attach any G card from your hand to one of your Geodude, Grovder, Golem, mm. Go Onyx GX, Cubone, Raihon, Rhydon, or Scudowoodo. Oh wow, this is a very specific card. So you're only able to work if you are playing pure fighting, which is uh. goes around Brock's. Pokemon. Yeah, and not just that, very specific Pokemon here as well, I yeah. realized. And that's, that, that's not all. Mm. You may only or you only can play one trainer card. Yeah, uh, one for, supporter card. Yeah, yeah, this one is mind a, that. Yes, you have to bear in mind that. So but. this <coughs> actually does is allow you to attach total of two. One mm. from your hand, which is the normal attached energy, mm -hmm. and one is using this trainer card to attach one more energy, which actually helps you to boost up for your Pokemon that actually yeah. need to it helps in setting up the, with it. Yeah, it helps in setting up a lot of different Pokemon, especially uh, Onyx GX over here. Yes. <coughs> okay, wow, that's amazing. Alright, going to over to you! Alright, to me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first one that we have here is Misty's main Pokemon ever since the first generation, Starmie GX. So it's got a total of 190 HP, a little bit lesser than, than Onyx, but that's oh, fine. 100 less. It's to be 10 less. 10 less, but it's 10 to be expected. <laughs> it's not unexpected. Alright, so its first attack is called Star Stream, which uh, does 40 damage. Uh, its ability is to attach two water energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So it plays back to the original style where water is very known for spamming energy to, uh, to the Pokemon very quickly. Mm, I won't know, I play it. <laughs> yep. Alright, its next attack is a three colorless energy, spinning attack for 100 damage, and that's what it just 100 flat damage. 100 for three colorless energy. It's actually not bad, if you think about it. Yeah, it's still short. Yeah, exactly. But the beauty is, it's GX attack, Hydro Pump GX, 40 plus. Uh, for one colorless energy. So this attack does 40 more damage times the amount of air water energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you already attach three, that'll be a total of 160. 160? 40 Four, plus 160. Yeah, 160. Uh, yeah, 120 more. So wow. If you are able to spam a lot of water energy onto it, this one is a sure one turn kill. Uh, it's very similar to the Onyx GX, but uh, it, in its own unique way. Yeah, bear in mind, GX can only use once, once. per game. Yes. <laughs> Alright, the next card that we have here is the supporter card. This is Misty's Water Manipulation. Uh, this is a new card apparently. 
it just came out uh, in this set. Oh, okay. I think. <laughs> I think. All right. So the card text: Move any amount of water energy from your Pokemon to your Psyduck, Horsey, Staryu, Starmie GX, Magikarp, Gyarados, or Lapras in any way you like. Wow. So it helps you arrange all your water energy around to make oh. sure that you can use the <laughs> highest tier attacks of that Pokemon, depending oh. on what your active is. Which is really good because uh, sometimes you don't really need water energy on, say, for example, a Psyduck. Then you want to move it to another Pokemon. You can do that. It's... It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can move it's, around your energy. Yeah, and it's, it's like it's like what the uh, the supporter card's title is. Misty's Water Manipulation. She's a water bender in disguise. <laughs> oh, water bender. <laughs> okay. So that's all the that's all the cards that we would like to introduce. Uh, I we feel that these four are very important because they I uh, I think that they are the main so called main backbones of this whole deck. The whole deck revolves around these um, these four cards. Yes, right. And of course the stadium as well. But stadium is a it's a add on thing. I I think still pretty cool though. Like, what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> right, ah, okay, uh, okay. Them right. forget one thing. Mm. It's the Ah, me actually need the evolution before ah, you can yeah, discard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? You need if you must, you must have a, actually have a star you actually at the bench or at the front active. Yes. So in order to actually evolve it to use it. Yeah, you gotta evolve it to Sami. Yeah, basically. evolve it to Sami. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unlike uh, well, Onyx, which is a basic. Yeah, which is a basic. Yeah, which is also the reason why it has got the higher uh, XP. Uh, XP. Uh, HP. E ESP. <laughs> wow. XP <laughs> share. <laughs> all right. So that is all for this video. Uh, I'm actually very excited to get this, try this deck out right away. What do you think? <coughs> okay, we will. Make one soon, yep. and we will battle out yes. Brock versus Misty. Yeah, Brock versus Misty. See which is the stronger one. Unfortunately, this is not the video game, so Brock still has an edge. <laughs> <laughs> both are equally weak towards grass for some reason. Yeah, both are equally weak. Yeah. <laughs> but in any case, if you want to see that video, uh, which will be coming soon uh, when it comes out, uh, and you like this video and want to see more Pokemon uh, card game from us, do subscribe to us and ring the bell on the side so you can be notified of all of our updates. At the same time, follow us on our socials and join us on Discord, Kaka and I will be there most times you can talk to us there. And not to forget, our IGN names for Pokemon TCG Online is over here. Check us out, add us, play with us, chat with us, we'll be there. Yep. Right. So with all that said, thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.